a new star system alpha 3.23 patch hit evo kadi last night and uh, in this video we're going to go through the patch notes as well as some interesting new details that has been revealed since the patch dropped yesterday this patch was relatively small in respect of the changes since the initial one okay so um, testing focuses remain the same from the previous build um, but this one they have a few um, feature updates uh, the very first one is going to be a character customizer polish and bug fix pass under the gameplay category they have an eva tier 2 movement and animation polish pass and then for ships and vehicles which this one actually puzzles me it says internal storage inclusion pass what does that mean don't these ships already have internal storage so i'm going to read the list here so it says added internal storage to the following ships drake vulture drake caterpillar origin 400i the brand new defender crusader c2 hercules starlifter anvil carrick nomad anvil terrapin ages reclaimer drake cutter ages avenger titan and the anvil ballista don't they all have internal storage already so what does this mean if you guys know let me know in the comments down below with this one there's a few bug fixes the anvil hornet mock to spawn as bare bold hull without landing gear or seat or internal they also fixed an issue for the c1 where it was missing the nose remote turret along with that is seven client crashes as well as six server crashes so now there's a few more things that dropped along with this patch some interesting details that i thought i'd share the very first one being bulking um it's now an option um in the graphic settings uh, uh, i think vulcan helps with uh, uh performance i believe um, but you guys already know um, the details of that so please do share for those that don't know um very next one is going to be really interesting actually it says um something i think this is related to like maybe xml files and it says here we call last vehicle and the next one says activate ship recall on the last flying vehicle use which i find interesting because it seems like based on reading this it seems like we will be able to call our ships planet side so for example like in elite, elite dangerous right you can go planet side land your ship and then you can you can um activate something and your 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 ship will fly out automatically into space and in a sense kind of stay in space this way it's safe and then you can recall it whenever you're ready uh to um, board your ship and then it'll come back and land right next to you so is this what this means this is what i'm suspecting okay but you guys feel free to let me know what you think this could actually be up next is going to be pouches it looks like um regular clothing like they mentioned previously are now going to have pouches where we can store items so um, these clothings are going to be um uh, very modular where you can attach certain uh, size pouches on them which will allow you to attach things like maybe weapons and um, other things that you would normally attach to your armor but this time it's going to be your civilian clothes which i think is going to be very cool to be able to do they have large moderate and small pouches here all right up next is also interesting it says um this is pertaining to your helmet and being able to um, attach it to your hip um, so these are the different options so if the helmet is in your hands you'll have the option to equip it if the helmet is already on your head which is equip then you'll have the option to attach it to hip and then if uh, it's on your hip then you'll have the option to equip it which means put it on your head so that is interesting okay i can't wait to actually do that so this looks like um instead of having um, items like helmets and things like that um be in those little boxes whenever you actually put it out into the universe in, into the verse physicalized it's like a box so instead of a box it's going to actually be the helmet itself just sitting there you know because you'll be able to hold it in your hands right so i would assume that that's how it's going to work so um that's going to be interesting to finally see that in the game 
up next is going to be it seems like there are going to be um, more options in terms of uh, water simulations um, from um, water sim off from very low all the way to high and um, also in addition to that is going to be uh, clouds uh, settings are also there for you and um, they look great they look great okay so um, but of course these settings as you make changes there are going to be FPS uh, impact as well just to let you know and as well as the water effects with ships is also looking great okay more on water it seems like players will make proper ripples and splashes in the water now um, but I believe um, weapons do not like bullets do not have the effect yet and um, they're getting further indication that there will be um, uh, ho horns that could be removed from the faunas themselves which is the uh, the copian the horn can actually be harvested uh, we did mention this in a previous video but it seems like they have more proof of that being a fact due to textures it seems like and um, it seems like there's also um, there's also uh, a bird that could actually be added as well it seems like these are things that they're finding in XML files and um, it's very interesting okay just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe catch you on the next video